morning. <laughs> I don't know what day it is. Is it the 13th? Yeah, Vlogmas day 13. It is really early um, and I'm on my way to Pilates. You've already seen this. It's the one that's on the rooftop. It's so gorgeous and hopefully we'll have a clear morning and it will be nice and pink. Um, yeah, Joe came back really late last night and I haven't really seen him because he was out the door at six. Um, so yeah, I literally haven't really seen him and we did have plans tonight. Uh, I was invited to go, well Joe and I were both invited to go ice skating um, at the Natural History Museum followed by dinner but he told me this morning that he's working really late again so hopefully I can find a friend that's free tonight and we can do it. If not, I'll just have a quiet night in. But yeah, I've got a couple of meetings today but we'll chat later. Let's do Pilates first. complete my whole body was shaking this morning it's crazy like you're working these tiny tiny muscles that you don't normally work check out the view though it looks gorgeous today i love this view so much you can kind of as you're working out just watch the sky change colors from like pink to blue oh it is freezing today i'm just on my way to a cafe to do a bit of work um something really nice just happened Builders can be quite intimidating to women, right? They can like quite often just make you feel a bit uncomfortable. Then this guy that I just walked past the builder was like, Hi madam, just want to say you look really smart today. How nice is that? Right, I wanted to really quickly show you how I curl my hair because it's honestly one of the number one most requested things in pretty much all of my videos. People are always asking me how I do it and the reason that I rarely do these kind of like hair tutorials is because I don't think I'm very good at it and I'm always like, if I show you how I do it, you're probably just gonna be like, well, you've done that wrong. <laughs> So that's why I never do it, but I thought, do you know what? I'm just gonna show you because um, I've been at the cafe doing some work. I'm back home now, I'm about to go out again, but I just thought, do you know what? My hair looks an absolute mess. Um, I washed it last night, so this is like literally 100% natural hair. I just slept on it. Um, so I thought I'd just quickly put some curls through it. And then I thought, well, I might as well show you guys as I do it. Um, yeah, I've been working at the cafe, and before I get started on this, I filmed yesterday a whole photo shoot behind the scenes um, and then today I've just been contacted saying by the way you can't show any footage at all from the photo shoot whatsoever no behind the scenes not even of me what I was wearing my makeup hair li literally nothing so that is why yesterday's vlog is really short and it was yeah I was a bit like sad to be honest <laughs> that um, I didn't really get to see Joe. so it was a really bad vlog yesterday so I do apologize about that um, so let's get started with hair the um, straighteners I use so I don't use curlers I use straighteners and I use GHDs it's literally what I've always used these are the GHD platinum and they're in the rose gold um, but for years I've been using their straighteners and I just find that this is so much quicker than using tongs I do use tongs, um, mainly for like evening events when I've got a bit more time to get ready, but I do find it takes a bit longer and I'm just so much quicker with these. This is like my everyday kind of curling, curling tool of choice. And I always use a heat protector before I put any kind of heat onto my hair and I always use the Schwarzkopf Got To Be Guardian Angel. I remember I discovered this in a boot store in Brighton years ago and it's kind of like the first heat protector that I bought and it's the one that I always buy now um so yeah love that and I'm using the tangle teaser brush I just rarely use any other brushes now I just love tangle teasers and a huge scrunchie 
this should probably be in the bin to be honest i've had it that long but i love it and it goes everywhere with me joe always laughs that this has traveled the world with me and it's will i will like end up in mexico or somewhere and i'm unpacking and then out comes this put it in my hair and he's like oh my god that scrunchie doesn't leave you so yeah i this is with me for life so i'm just gonna turn them on and while i wait for them to heat up i'm just gonna give my hair a bit of a spritz of the heat protector i don't want my hair wet for this i to be honest normally would do this first thing the heat protector so that then it kind of soaks in and isn't wet when i um dry it <laughs> when i straighten it curl it oh my god oh i can't get my words out today so i'm not going to do too much of that and then i separate my hair into three different sections as i go so the first section is just going to be the lower part so as you can see it's like that and then this bit i just kind of put into a big bun in the top of my head i take one section and like that just wrap it round so now it's gone down on itself i'm so bad at explaining how to do this i don't know i just kind of do it and then just like that so just like one single curl and i leave the very end so let go there that's something that um larry king has taught me to actually not continue your curl all the way to the end so that bit i leave straight i alternate directions so for this one i'm now going to come inwards if that makes sense the first time i went backwards and this time i went forwards there you go and just by alternating the direction of each curl it makes it look a bit more natural okay i'm just gonna do it i think it's better you watching than me talking <laughs> direction first so just twist kind of backwards and then you get it in that position and just slowly work your way down okay now for the second section put all my hair down again and then I leave just the very top part and when you do first do this it is quite um not ringletty, but it, it's curlier than I like. But you'll see at the end, I just kind of brush through it and it will eventually drop. Well, this is quite a look, isn't it? <laughs> so we're on to the last section now. If I can get this out, there we go. Um, what I do is I use a little grip, a little Kirby grip. And because I have my hair in a middle parting, I just use that to like absolutely straighten it to make sure it's bang smack in the middle and straight. So I'm just gonna use the mirror for that. I'm gonna do the right side again. So I just kind of find all the straight bits, separate them as much as I can. And for the top part, I actually tend to do all of this facing that way. So the curls will be facing backwards so that when it's on your face, it kind of goes like off your face rather than towards your face, if that makes sense. Um, I'll show you. And then turn the straighteners backwards. And I'm gonna do that with all of these bits on the top. So on this side, I turn the straighteners backwards again. So it's the same as that. So, basically, I'm doing this right. It's really weird without a mirror. I think that was the right direction. <laughs> Basically, just away from your face. That's what I'm doing. Right, so it looks pretty crazy. As you can see, I never have my hair like this curled. So what I'm gonna do is brush through it, but I wait until it's cooled down. Cause um, I don't know why, someone, I think someone told me once don't brush through your hair after you've curled it when it, your hair is still warm because otherwise it won't like hold the waves afterwards. This side has dropped already. That's a bit more how I like it. Okay, so I'm going to brush through that side now just to like make it a bit more smooth than loads of separated curls. 
So that's basically it. That is how I curl my hair. Not every day, but when I do curl it, this is how I do it. And it normally lasts like a couple of days because I only wash my hair two or three times a week. And um, yeah, there we go. That is how I do it and it will drop a bit more throughout the day and that's when I absolutely love it. Probably tonight is when it will be my favorite. So when I have um, something going on in the evening, sometimes I'll just do that in the morning and then by the evening it's exactly how I want it. So there you go, finally an everyday hair routine for you. A few weeks ago, I went to a really gorgeous dinner with Loxitan. It was their Christmas dinner and it was all about their new recycling program, which is absolutely fascinating. They have basically partnered with a company called TerraCycle, who recycle uh, hard to recycle um, materials. So a lot of beauty products actually aren't recyclable. Not many people know that. So all you have to do is collect your empties and then when you have a few or even just one, you can just take it down to a Loxtan store that do the recycling. You have to make sure it's the right one. Um, and it can be any brand, doesn't have to be L'Occitane and they'll take it for you and what happens is those hard to recycle materials will be recycled by TerraCycle. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of cycles I just said. So since that dinner, which must have been about... <laughs> since that dinner, which must have been about uh, three, four weeks ago, I have basically been collecting all of my empties. So, before I go and take this down to the store, I'm gonna to go to the Regent Street store because it's my favorite one. I thought I would just um, show you what my empties are so that you kind of see what I've been using. So I've just um, researched online quickly to make sure what they do recycle and what they don't recycle. And apparently they don't recycle glass. So I'm just gonna take out the glass and I can just recycle those at home anyway. But I will show you the glass products anyway, so you know what I've been using. So this is the Guerlain Face Treatment Oil. This is unbelievable stuff. If you've got kind of um, skin with that's quite pigmented or uh, like scars from blemishes, this does absolute magical things. It's so good. It kind of like clears your skin. It's amazing. Um, this is the Ordinary Lactic Acid and I actually found it at the back of my drawer and I don't think it will be in date anymore so I don't want to put that on my face so it's not an empty, I need to actually empty it in the sink actually but um, yeah that's no good anymore. This is an amazing cream by Orvida. This is the Firm Brew Botanical Cream. It's a really, really luxury, luxury brand, but it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. And then also, oh, my favorite perfume, this is the Tom Ford Mandarino Diamalfi. This is my all-time favorite perfume. So I won't be taking that with me, let's just put that on the side. Okay, my cleanser that I've been using for a while now is the Dr. Robux Noosa Nourishing Cream Cleanser. This is their new branding packaging. It used to be in a totally different bottle. But I believe the formula is the same, so yeah, I love that. Um, this is DCL. This is the High Potency Night Booster. So, as the name says, it's a night serum. And yeah, I just really like that. It kind of tingles when you put it on. It's quite satisfying, I like that. This is the Manuka Doctor Drops of Crystal Cashmere Touch Serum. Amazing stuff. Quite similar to the Guerlain Face Oil in that if you have any kind of blemishes or anything and you've got a bit of scarring or it's a bit red, put this on at night and in the morning it's like pretty much almost gone. Um, Origins A Perfect World F SPF 40 Moisturiser. So I use that a lot in the summer. Um, again, another cream here, um, SPF cream by Cordely, another one of my absolute favorite brands, Cordely. This is the Vino Perfect Radiance Moisturiser with SPF 20. That's kind of a lighter moisturizer that was good for less sunny days, I suppose. Oh, and then I've got a couple of travel size things here. This is all Sunday Riley. So this is the Tidal moisturizer. It's like a lovely uh, gel consistency, really light. This is the um, Repair moisturizer and it's got vitamin C and E and it smells so delicious. I wonder, 
Oh, it's like citrusy, like orange, but it's totally empty now. I used it all. And then this is the serum that goes with that. It's so handy for traveling. Got a couple of mascaras here. I think they take mascaras. I'm gonna see when I get down. This is the Bobbi Brown mascara. The one that I love, the tiny, tiny brush. Is it the Intensify one? But the tiny brush is so good for your bottom lashes, but yeah. That's had it now, so I need to get a new one. And then the Givenchy mascara there. Um, a couple of boring bits. Joe's toothpaste and my toothpaste. <laughs> um, he's not a massive fan of like the kind of natural ones, whereas I am. <laughs> so I actually bought this one in TK Maxx, I think, when I went in there with my mum. And um, yeah, it's like a bio uh, whitening natural toothpaste with sea buckthorn, mint oil and sage extract. And I really liked it and it's, it was so cheap. I think it, you could get two or something for two pounds or something. And uh, natural toothpaste are normally really, really expensive. So there's a tip for you. If you want to get natural toothpaste, go to TK Maxx. And this is the last one. Our little hand cream from L'Occitane. There we go. I was thinking, where's all my L'Occitane stuff? I think I've still got all of my hand creams. But yeah, I get through so much hand cream from um, L'Occitane and body cream. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to take all of this stuff to L'Occitane now. Then I'm going to get a couple of Christmas presents for my managers because I'm seeing them for breakfast in the morning so I'm going to give it to them then. This is a really funny angle isn't it? <laughs> Just in my bathroom like hey. Um, and then I'm going to come home. Joe unfortunately, I can't remember if I mentioned this earlier but he can't make the ice skating tonight and the dinner which is a shame. Um, and I've asked like a couple of my friends, Charlotte and Venetia, and Charlotte then invited me out to a party with them tonight. Um, and then Venetia is hosting an event at California Kitchen, which is where I was meant to go for lunch this afternoon. But I've, um, they're amazing and my friends are so great to be like that. But I was like, you know what, I think I'm just gonna have a quiet night in. But yeah, let's go and drop off our recycling. So this is the L'Occitane store on Regent Street. So apparently the TerraCycle bit's on the first floor, so I'm just going up now. So this is the recycling box. You can see all of my products are in there now. But it's so easy. You just come along, pop them in, and then you get 10% off a new product. They've done up this store so well. It looks absolutely gorgeous, and you can see all the Christmas lights outside. come to one of my favourite stores, Jo Malone. I love it here. So I've just met Alice here, who works in Jo Malone. Hi. And it's amazing what you just told me. So you learn yeah. English? Yeah, I when I just came here, I learned English from your my video. videos. That is unbelievable. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet you. So happy to see you. Oh, you too. You're so <laughs> yeah. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> I love how pretty these Jo Malone bags look. So I bought each of my managers a candle and had their names engraved, but they're obviously all packaged up now, but I am seeing them in the morning, so I'll give it to them then over breakfast. So I'll hopefully try and remember to show you <laughs> what they look like inside. Right, I'm gonna go to sleep now. Um, it's really early actually, but uh, yeah, just feel really tired today. Um, Tomorrow will be really nice because, uh, like I say, my managers and I are going out for a nice Christmas breakfast. So that will be lovely and I can give them their Jo Malone candles then. And, um, oh, and I'm also doing yoga and lunch with Venetia. So that will be really, really nice. I'm looking forward to seeing her. So, um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the morning. Bye. <laughs>